And why would killing Zeus be enough? A smile crept across the titan's face. Do you know nothing? Well, that was a rude statement. If Zeus dies, Cronus ascends to Olympus. We rule once more, as we should. And then you release the rest of the titans and kill the rest of the gods? We will give them a choice, he replied and they will choose their own fate. Why doesn't Cronus go after Zeus himself, or is he scared? The ground trembled slightly under my feet, and I had a feeling Cronus was nearby. He'd heard that, and hadn't liked it. I smirked. Because we want you to choose your own fate, Seth. Side with us. You cannot defeat Cronus. Oceanus replied coolly. Yeah, this wasn't adding up. You know what I'm thinking? There's a reason why you want me to do this. Cronus doesn't want to face off with me. Is it because I killed Perseus? His nostrils flared as the shades shifted restlessly. Or is it because of how easily I killed Hyperion? I asked letting some of my power slip through to the skin. My vision tinted white, and he's afraid that I'll kill him. You know what will happen if you kill Cronus. I did, but he didn't know I cared. Do I strike you as someone who worries about what would happen? You should be. Oceanus lifted his chin. We will usher in a new beginning, a better world. A fine shiver danced across my shoulders as I thought of the prophecy you and the nymph had told me. The end of the old is here, and the beginning of the new has been ushered in. The prophecy was about me, wasn't it? Or was it about more than me? We will write all that the Olympians had done wrong. He continued. That's an extraordinarily long list, I replied dryly. Oceanus inclined his chin. Bring us his head, or we will level this city, and from here we will destroy everything in our paths. You have until the Cronia. We'll be waiting.